I'm here with Father outside um, Stamford Bridge. <sighs> Mate, honestly, at least we scored today, right? I mean, we couldn't get one against Madrid. 2 1 Brighton. Doesn't matter what we do, it's just not working. First and foremost, I would like to get congratulate Brighton literally from this game alone because I feel like they're the ones that the, the team to want to play that European football. Then they're the ones that are more hungry than, than desire than us, in my opinion. At the moment, we're just shambolic, just week in, week out. It's just going to get even worse when it goes to a round of you know, April times when it, we, we face against Brentford, when we lose against Arsenal. It's going to get worse and sooner rather than, than, than better, in my opinion. And we spoke about this in Madrid. Like It's, it's, it's just the same week in, week out, isn't it? The difference is, is that from this game, I understand what Frank was trying to do. He's trying to get off um, Enzo Fofana in, in the 15 minutes or so, which is totally surprising for me, in the fact that we got Real Madrid. But I think, I think he's in an awkward spot at that time as well, because I don't think we're not going to beat Real Madrid on Tuesday. So what's the point of resting him in, in that case then? And I just think today it just goes to show that if Brighton were more clinical than critical than us in, in that first half we could have been at least 5-1 down but we're just fortunate to get that one goal but at the end of the day it's just collapse of concentration that costs us in that in the equaliser in my opinion yeah it's, it's interesting though because if we had started a really strong squad today yeah. people would have said well hang on a second we're the only thing we've got to play for is is the Champions League but yeah. obviously he rested players and he's still going to get criticised 100% and I feel like I feel like when, when we lost that kind of like Leadership at the back, we, we don't have Thiago Silva. He's been rested on the bench apparently. For, I think he's saving him for Tuesday, in my opinion. But there's not a lot of uh, option that he could have done, to my, in my opinion. And for me, I wish I wish I could have seen like Dr. Fofana, a friend, in my opinion, let alone Aubameyang. Even Aubameyang right now, he, he stay at home. He was chilling right now. And the fact that we don't have any prolific striker in this game, it's just goes to show that how fallen we, we, we are at the moment. And we are crying for that number out and out number nine striker why don't we bring for fun in the first place what was frank Lampard thinking in his mind though what do you think he was thinking i just think it just goes to show that maybe he, he thinks that that Fofana isn't ready for the league yet but for me i would rather he, you throw him in the in in the in the deep end in the deep end in my opinion just to get to to the experience level in, the, in this league because it's going to get a lot of minutes in the future under a new manager but at the moment, it's just it's just like building up to experience in the league because at the moment, I just I just literally look up the bench like I wish I wish him in the pitch right now, Alex. And we spoke about this on on Tuesday as well. Like we do, we do need someone runners in our team like Mutrik. Like I thought Mutrik was was good today in some aspect, but at the same time, I was crying out that we want to see that Mutrik more to you know to do a bit more in that left hand side in my opinion. And I just think we need we need that support in, in that in that regards though. Well, you can see how dangerous Mudrich is, especially when he's dragging um, players into the middle and they just can't keep up with it. And when he runs in behind, there's no competition because he's actually, he's not just fast, he's, he's quite strong as well. That's the thing, like, I, I, I would like to see Mudrich to start the game against Real Madrid because we do need that sort of runner that we've been crying out for last week against Real Madrid. And also I want to see, you know, Enzo Kanté in the, in, the, in the midfield against Real Madrid. And... Let alone fuck. Let alone like who, who else in that team that I could I could really cap and trust on? Like, well, I mean, Kepa kept us in the game. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse if it wasn't for Kepa. In my opinion, it could have been like we could have been seven-one down. But then again, he wasn't very good in Madrid. Yeah, but it's just inconsistency with Kepa at the moment. But at the same time, it's just goes to show that we we do we do need a lot of rebuild in this squad. Like a lot of players need to be shipped. And at the moment, we're in the awkward spot. And I've seen some photos that I've received today that the fans going at Bowley today, even in the stands, though. It just goes to show that what Bowley's trying to do off the pitch, he made numerous of mistakes that a lot of people have been criticised on. And I just think that he just needs to learn from this mistake and, you know, rectify that next season. Because at the moment, I'm looking off based on what happened off the pitch right now. His relations are going to get even worse, though. What do you say to fans who yeah. compare Bowley, Egbali and Clear Lake yeah. to the Glazers? I don't have any issue with that. And I think that with Bowley, with, with Bowley's structure ownership right now, in my opinion, I just think he needs to change his vision because I understand that, that before the start of the season, he's saying that he wanted to, he wanted someone for, for collaborating with them. But 
we never going to be a project club in any, any other case. But if you compare Bully to Glazers, the difference is um, Glazers le spend less their money than us, then, but they still get results. But with Bully in that case, is that we spent a lot of money in one season, but the results getting backwards and backwards. And that's the issue about it. And I think that he needs to change his vision on his mind to, to, be, to realize that we're never going to be a project club. We need, we need a new manager that can come in, the likes of Enrique or Nagelsmann or any other top managers right now on a two-year basis and then see where we're at at that time. But again, we're, we're, we're going to be here on Tuesday. I don't know what's, what line of France is going to be look like. And it's, it's going to be like almost final in the coffin for us. We never know, in it, And we just have to pray and, and hope and hope for the best for the, for the on Tuesday because at the moment, it's just not going to get any, any better and hopefully it'll change on Tuesday. Forget uh, Tuesday. Um, I know how you feel about that already. Yeah. Uh, where can you see our league form going? Where can you see us finishing in the league the way we've been playing? And can you see anything changing? At the moment, with the performance right now, I just can't see we were going to get any better. We'd be alone to get lucky 39 points, let alone for the rest of the season. I think we're going to get 40 points by the end, by the, by the, by early, at least around of May. Because I've, I've looked against Brentford, not going to be that easy. Arsenal literally fighting for their lives for the title. Like, I, I understand the off-the-pitch basis, like we're, going to, um, we're trying to do, destroy their title hopes. But against, against the round of fixture that we got in the end of the season, I just can't see us to get a win until like May, let alone for the rest of the season. I just can't see us get a winning until next season, in my opinion. It's just getting uh, getting jarring to watch to, to week in, week out. I've been coming here a lot, and I just want to see some consistent performances. But at the moment, it's like when you look at the fixtures, I'm not getting that confident.